All right, so if you've stolen your mom's credit card and you just bought Kovacs, you open it up and I'm right with a bunch of stuff all over the screen. How are you supposed to use this thing? Hey, what's up everybody? This is Blade. And as you can probably tell from the intro, this video is going to be a guide on how to use Kovacs. A little disclaimer. This is not a tutorial on how to get good aim with Kovacs. It is a guide for people who just bought Kovacs on how to use the game and how to set it to your preferences. Without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. When you first open up Kovacs, you'll be met with this screen. On the left are the list of maps. On the right are settings for the map you're currently playing. In the middle is the options and the other stuff. That's pretty self-explanatory. The maps tab is what you will be using to play and find new games. You're mainly going to be using the Steam Workshop tab since it has pretty much any map you need. You'll only need to use the local files if you're going to be playing offline or if you're going to be creating maps. You can download maps for offline use by pressing this blue button that has a downwards facing arrow. The leaderboard symbol shows if the map has leaderboard enabled or not. and the number of bullets shows the difficulty of the map. The more bullets there are, the more difficult the map is. The green button with the triangle is used to play the map. The number to the left of the map is the rating. And you can add maps to your favorites by clicking on the star. This box right here is the search bar. Next is the session manager. You can use this tool to modify the map you are currently playing to your needs. Keep in mind that you can only use this when you are playing the map in free play mode. Don't worry about this team part as you'll probably never use it. You can toggle invincibility for yourself and the bot or bots if you have most of them by checking these boxes. You can add additional bots to the map by pressing this blue button with a plus icon or delete bots by pressing this red X icon. Increasing the map scale will enlarge the map and it will do the reverse if you lower the number. The most important thing in the session manager is the time scale. The time scale allows you to either speed up or slow down the game. I can set this to 0.5 to make the game 50% slower. or change it to 2 to speed up the game twice as fast. The time scale is so useful because if you're struggling with, let's say, tracking on this map, you can slow it down to perhaps uh, 0.7 to make it easier. Once you've mastered tracking at that speed, you can increment it by uh, 0 0.05. Like, I mastered it right here. Increment it. You can keep repeating this until you can comfortably track at regular speed. Now onto the game options. The main tab has most of the important stuff, such as your sensitivity, FOV, FPS, and so on. For the sensitivity, you just choose the game you want to use from the drop down menu, and then input the number. Everything else is really self explanatory. It even has tips next to the settings when you hover over the question marks. Next tab is the keybinds, which is also pretty self-explanatory. Just set the keybinds to what you're comfortable with. It's all personal preference. The weapons options lets you have custom settings for each weapon in the game. I just customized the default settings, so I keep the same settings for each game. But you can change the settings up for each scenario if you prefer that. If you're like me and going to stick with the default with the same settings for each gun. Remember to check use defaults. 
where the scenario is gone. Video options are just your basic video settings, nothing too special about it. You can change the resolution to stretched if you use that and some other stuff. I just set most of the settings to low or off to get the maximum frames per second. Ovax isn't really supposed to look beautiful or anything, so that's why I went for performance over looks. Also, don't use VSync because that adds input lag. The visual options lets you change how the environment looks. If you just got the game, you'll probably be on the default setting which is the grid pattern. You can pick the texture you want from the drop down menu. I set mine to pure grey. I know it looks like black in the options, but the wall and floor material changes the color. You can mess around with the roughness and metallic sliders to fit your personal preferences. Just don't be like an idiot like me and set everything to black as Solo Ninja pointed out in my 3 common Kovac beginners mistakes video. Sky tint changes the color of the sky. So if I set it to red, it becomes red. You can also make it a solid color if you prefer that. The colors tab is similar to the previous one, except this time you're modifying the player and the bot colors. Nothing too complex, just change the settings to whatever you like. Next is the sound options, and Kovac gave us a lot of customization for this which is great. You can change the volume here, and change some of the sounds. I also have a tutorial on how to add custom sounds to Kovacs. If you don't like the default sounds. Underneath that is the pitch and some other volume settings. The UI options lets you move around things on the screen or completely remove them. Check the box next to the element that you want to hide. I removed these ones because I didn't think they were necessary and cluttered up the screen. You can also move them around by clicking on this and then dragging the elements by holding left click on the gray rectangles. The last tab is the leaderboards tab. You can show only friends, hide invalid scores, and hide your scores from the leaderboard. Well, that wraps up the basics of Kovex. Please leave a like if you found this video helpful. Subscribe and ring the notification bell so you know whenever I upload a new video or live stream. Comment down below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.